TSA says the lazing problem at Myrtle Beach International is the worst in the country. More than 70 times since mid-May we've had this on the civilian side. And it's the same point from the Coast Guard. Nationwide for the Coast Guard, this is the most severe uh, case of it. They lobbied Horry County Council's Committee of the Whole Tuesday morning, explaining the pains and problems when aircraft are hit. Public Safety Director Paul Witten showed a map of lazing incidents reported by aircraft going in or out of the airport. It lit up like a Christmas tree. In July alone, there were 24 reports. Three times in three weeks, the Coast Guard has been grounded when a laser was shown into the cockpit. Most notably, last month, a search for two boaters was halted. A laser shown off Apache Pier disabled a night vision boat and helicopter search. While the crews were waiting for medical clearance to go back in the water, the boaters washed ashore. If they hadn't have been wearing life jackets, they probably would have died. It's a federal offense to shine a laser into an aircraft. So far, two cases have been prosecuted in Los Angeles. In those, the guilty parties were sentenced to two years in prison and an $11,000 fine. Horry County is still working on the legal wording for a proposed ordinance, but any ban would probably be on the strength of wattage of a laser rather than a product altogether.